The movie was just launched on Facebook via Kite. Can you talk about that? And that was the first time that ever happened, right? Yeah, it was pretty interesting. Uh, worked together with a company and they launched One Track Mind, which is a, a surfer pro movie about a half an hour long. And they launched it on facebook.com slash film. And it was the first time ever a, a film has had its debut on Facebook, which was really cool. And why did they use Kite? It was very easy for them to get the content up there. But then, especially to get the interactivity, people could chat, they could comment about it. And then during the launch of the movie, they had all the stars like Kelly Slater and all those guys, the world pro surfers, live on the channel and fans could interact with them. So it was kind of a virtual launch, but very interactive. So it was a big success for us. Great. I know that Kite has some new monetization opportunities going on with, with double click, dark support, and. Um, and, and splash ads. Can you tell me about how that's working? Yeah, we launched it uh, last week. Uh, we integrated with DoubleClick uh, with several ad types on Kite, uh, where you can do splash screens, pre-rolls, overlays, and, and some other things as well. So any media company now, most of them are using Dart. You can use other ad servers as well, but Dart is the most prominent one. Uh, they can distribute their ads now uh, through Kite and monetize. What we also launched is a, a simple Kite uh, ad server. It's a simple one for sponsorships and especially also uh, e-commerce. We have a lot of artists in the music industry. They're selling their t-shirts, caps, CD boxes via Kite. They can promote it, they can talk to their fans directly, and they can say, hey, click right here to get the new DVD box or whatever it is. So that we launched uh, last week. Yeah. So I know that Kite's sort of philosophy is that that centralized distribution for video is kind of over and that you have to, to be dis distributing it in lots of different places. Can you talk about how that works and how that model is going to be important for the future of online video? I think what's important is uh, that people can watch content wherever it is and also create content wherever they are. So on the creation side, of course, mobile is being used a lot, no matter if it's an iPhone or a Nokia phone. Uh, or if it's in front of your webcam, you just click start and it starts recording. That's on the creation side. On the distribution side, you want to watch it wherever you are. And that is online, that's on Facebook, that's on MySpace, that's on the branded websites. But it's also on mobile phones, on the Nokia phone, on the iPhone, on your Blackberry. It's wherever you are, you should be able to watch the content. That's what Kite is taking care of. I always tell people in, at the beginning of a demo, I'm like, you're here, you want to shoot a video here. And then you want it on your brand side, on Facebook, on MySpace, on your BlackBerry and iPhone. How long is it going to take you? And usually they say, whoa, I have to transcode it, I have to upload it there, there, there. So with Kite, it's one click and it's everywhere. And that's really, I think, the, the big advantage. So with the content being distributed so many different places, how, how do you advertise that? And um, how do you sort of allow brands to maintain control mm -hmm. over the different yeah. areas? The, the good news is they, they distribute, but still have full control because the players which are embedded are fully controlled by the brands. They can turn them off, they can push new content, they can push advertising. They can also say where should advertising go and where not. They can also drive traffic back from those so-called satellite players to their main page where they probably get higher uh, CPM rates, for example.